Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to pass parameters between scenes. A scenario where this might be actually useful is imagine if you have a game scene and you have a game over scene and once the user dies you might want to transfer the score from the game scene to the game over scene and there's a bunch of things you might want to do with it in the game over scene display it so the user can see their score and submit it to the leaderboards, save it locally, that sort of stuff. So we need to know how to actually transfer variable parameters, that sort of stuff between scenes. So to do it, it is actually really simple. I've got two simple scenes set up. In the receiving scene, AKA the scene that will be called and parameters will be passed to, uh, what you wanna do is go to the header file in the create scene method or whatever you've got this named, add all your parameters that you wanna receive. So I'm just gonna keep it simple and do int var1. I'm gonna do float var2. You can do any sort of parameter, just keeping it simple with int and float. What you want to do is go to the CPP file and just fix up the create scene here. So int var1 float var2. And now what we want to do is create some global variables int i. I'm just going to call them i. You can call them whatever you want. Float x. And now what we are going to do is do i equals var1 var1 being the int that is passed in and it'll be assigned to this variable which we can access in our scene2 class. We're going to do x equals var2 and now what we're going to do is in the let's get rid of that in the init method right here we are actually going to log both of these out. So we're going to do log i colon percent i and we're going to put the our variable i there log x colon percent f and for this we're going to put the x variable so we've got the receiving scene all set up as you can see it's very simple and the only thing we need to do now is go to our hello world scene there's a default button right here i don't know why i closed that because we're going to need it i'll open it back up in a second so let's just get rid of this code which just closes the application by default which we do not want oh oh yeah <laughs> Daisy. And in here, first of all, we're going to create a scene. No, actually, before that, we need to actually include the header for our other scene. So hash include scene2.h. And in here, we're going to do scene asterisk temp scene equals scene2 colon colon create and as you can see it wants two variables so I'm just gonna put 4 and 5.78 finally do director get instance replace scene so now we're just going to go to our next scene now run this bad boy in the simulator and once it's loaded we'll show you as you can see in the console itself nothing has appeared in regards to the i and the x values which we passed in as our fingers for 4 and 5.78 and now if I click this it takes us to the second scene I'll just put some a label on there that says second scene and as you can see it printed out 4 and 5.78 because in the init method that's what we did you can do what you want you can display it in a label you can even use your part of some name to get a sprite you can submit it online whatever but it's that simple to pass parameters between scenes in cocos 2dx c plus plus we'll have a javascript tutorial as well if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php there'll be a link in the description so you don't need to remember that and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Actually, I forgot to mention one thing. There will be also a link in the description to a post on Sonar Learning which has this in written form. So if you want to see this in written form or just get the code instead of watching the video, which fair enough, sometimes you want to, just check that out. There will be a link in the description. Bye.